Hello and welcome to Take the Fear Out of the Gear. It's Quick Tips video number two from me, Mr. Chumley Warner. And me, Jason Bangers. As Chumley said, this is number two Quick Tips video. Over to you, Mr. Simon. Just a very quick explanation because you'll see the video in a minute. We have the OP1 again. And all we're going to explain in this Quick Tips video to you is basically when you sample something, we show you where it goes, how to name it on your computer, etc, etc. And that's a really useful quick tip. And you're talking about using the cassette part, the real, real, real bit, or all of it? <clears throat> just It's just using the sampler. Reason being is because all the detailed videos that are out there kind of go into a little bit. They go a little bit too fancy, a little bit too high tech, and you're kind of like, what? So... It's a layman's terms explanation. Yeah, and it's <clears throat> when, when you sample something on the OP1. Ooh, ooh, it was the scene. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when you sample something on the OP1, it's not obvious where, where your sample gets stored. So we've explained all that for you. So quick tips number two. Here it comes. Bosch. Right, here we are with the OP1. I've got it in sampler mode. Number five is sampler. I've loaded it up. Obviously, we're in synth sampler. A lot of people wonder where, if you do a sample, where is it stored? So let's do a sample. I'll press the uh, input button there. So now we're ready to sample. On the uh, meter here you can see we've got a level. So we're just going to press a button and do a little sample. Take the fear out the gear. Let's just turn that up a little bit. Bring the start point. Take the fear out the gear. So what happens is, if you go to a different synth engine, you'll lose that sample. So the first thing you've got to do, once you're happy with it, we've uh, done the start point, so... Take the fear out the gear. Sounds alright. So we're in number five, so the first thing you do is hold down number five, and that saves it. Yep, and when you get a tick, it's done. Where is the sample? Okay, so we've just saved our sample by holding down the five button, because that's where we've got the sample loaded. And then I hold down the shift and press five and that gives you like a list of all your synths. So if I go from the top of all the synths, that starts with cluster, goes down, goes down, goes down, goes down. And you'll see here it says sampler. So that's obviously what we're in. But underneath the sampler, it says snapshot. And what that actually means is that's the library of samples where any sample you record is stored. So if I go up to snapshot, and then you'll see the one at the top here is just a whole load of numbers, 202, it's basically, I think it's to do with the date. So that is the sample, the take the fear out of the gear sample we've just recorded. And you see these other ones in the snapshot have got names, and we're going to show you how to do that as well. So if I just quickly go down to say this one, this was a sample of my actual DS Game Boy type machine. And if I go back up. Take the fear out the gear. So the one labelled 202 blah de blah is the take the fear out the gear sample. So we've actually stored it. It's in the snapshot folder. So really we want to call it take the fear out the gear. So what we'll do next, we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I've plugged in the USB cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the shift and press the COM button. And it gives us four options. It says OP1, Control, Disk, and OPT. So what we're going to do is press number three. And that basically connects uh, the OP1 to the computer. And then what we're going to show you in a second Ah, you can just hear it's connected to the computer. And then I'll just pan up to the screen and I'll show you what it comes up with. Right, so we've just panned up to the screen on my computer. Now the OP1's connected, you've got four different files come up under removable disk H, which in my case is the OP1. So album is if you, you've got your tape machine on the OP1 and you've got all your four tape tracks and like done them to a master track, That'll be that's, that's what the album track is. The drum is all your drum samples. I'll go back. Tape 
is that's the four tracks of your uh, tape machine what you have on there so you can you can pull that off and put it into a, a door of your choice if you want to and mess around with it and then the one we're looking at is synth so you can see snapshots come up so that's the our sample folder and if we click that these are all the samples I've got stored in the OP1 and you can see the one up the top there is the number 202-109-13 which is the take the fear out of the gear sample so rather than having it as some strange number what we'll do is we can just right click rename T T F out take the fear out we'll call it that press return and then what we can do now is if I go back to the OP1 and look at the screen I press uh, number one which is OP1 that disconnects the computer and you can see the, com the screen's gone now so yeah when I press the uh, the one button to put it back in OP1 mode you see the obviously the screen on the computer it disconnected then it comes up with these file names here and it basically renames the file on your OP1 so it says press any key so just press any key you want right so we're back in the tape machine now so if we go back to the synth we go to slot 5 where the sampler is loaded up and we press shift 5 to get our menu of synths down to snapshot and we look through our list of uh, samples in our snapshot file if we go down we should be able to find hopefully should be near the bottom I reckon that one there take the fear out so if I press it now take the fear out the gear take the fear. and you can set the sample to do what you want but there you go it's all named which is handy so if you've got a few samples on there rather than just having a whole load of numbers which don't really mean anything link it up to your computer rename it disconnect it and then it will be on your OP1 as you want it. The other useful thing is when you've got the OP1 connected to your computer and you've got the files up on your screen, obviously the four different files, what I would suggest is do a backup of those because all you've got to do is highlight them, drag them to another place on your computer, maybe do like the date of when you did that so you've got a backup of all your samples. And obviously what you can also do if there's samples you've used on a project and you don't want them anymore, uh, when you connect the OP1 you can delete the samples off there to give yourself more space to do new samples so that is a handy thing to know and it took me a while to find out how to do that but that is uh, the best quick tip for today on the OP1 brilliant job so si. it's quite easy when you know isn't when you know it's easy isn't it and yes and it shows you how you can manage your sample library because obviously if you've got too many samples on your OP1 you can't sample anymore so it shows you how to take them off it's it's, it's a useful tip to do we just want to help you because it's frustrating when you spend all that money and we know how much money they are on something like that and you can't just use a friendly it straight away so we hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick tips video from me Jason Bangers and from me Mr Chumley Warner it's goodbye from Take the Fear Out of Gear don't forget to hit the bell slap like and subscribe